Hello and welcome to more Pokemon! In the last episode, we finally stopped Team Rocket inside the Rocket Game Corner, or Rocket Hideout in the Game Corner in Celadon City. We went back, we got the Poke Flute from Mr. Fuji, but more importantly, we also got the tea. So let's go, Eevee! There's a guard who's been thirsty for a very long time. We need to give him some tea! Well, here is where we stopped off last time, but what I want to do is go back to Celadon. Thankfully, we got a little secret technique, so now we can fly. You know what? Actually, real quick, this is something I haven't done in a very long time. You see Freya looking kind of tired. I have not given them any food, or pet them, or done anything that a proper Pokemon trainer should do. You know what? Just to make up for the fact that it's been so long, have a silver one, dude. There you go, eat those crunchy munchies, dude. Well, they're not exactly pooter crunchies, but let's see if we can pet them as well. Um, maybe they like that? <laughs> there we go! Okay, secret technique, Sky Dash. Let's go right on back to Celadon City. Here we go! Now, from Celadon City, there's two paths we could take right now. Actually, there's technically three paths. We could go out to the west, and we could continue that way. We could go back where we saw Snorlax back by Vermilion City. We could go that way. But I want to go deal with that guard who's been thirsty for a very long time. So we're going to go bring him the tea. I'm not going to make a here's the tea joke or anything like that. Let's just go inside this little side section and uh, see what happens. We'll just walk right on up. Hey, buddy. Oh, that tea you have. It looks awful. Or awfully tasty. What? I can have a drink? Gee, thanks. We don't actually get a choice. Glug, 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 glug. Well, glug, glug. If you really want to go to Saffron City, glug, I guess I can let you pass. Glug, glug, gulp. I'll share this tea with you. Ew, don't share the tea with the guards, dude. That's kind of weird. Well, I guess all we had to do to get past this high security was bringing him a little tea. We could, just, we could have just bought that card for like $2 at the corner store, but... Hey, why buy, like, crazy strategies to get through security when you can just bring some tea, dude? So here we are in Saffron City, and as you can see, Team Rocket is here. So we're gonna have to stop Team Rocket once and for all, once again. But first, I want to explore the city a little bit. There is a Pokemon Center right there, which I will go to, because I do need to heal up just a little bit. I think. Yeah, we're poisoned. We're poisoned on Freya, so we'll, we'll go heal up in a second. But let's just walk around the city. Now, for the most part, I'm going to explore the city fully in the next episode, but I just want to show it a little bit right here, just so you can see that Team Rocket is being gosh dang buttheads and they're infesting this place. And I also want to find the town sign. You can't just go to a town and not read the sign, dude. Boss said he'll take this town in the name of Team Rocket. Oh my gosh. Can you buy a city? Like, is that a thing? If you're like a super mega rich person, could you buy a city? Is that an option? I don't know, man. I guess you could, like, buy all the houses in the city and go from there. So here we got X Special Defense. Very nice. Now, here is the gym. This is the uh, Saffron City Pokemon gym. And the gym leader is Sabrina, which is a name we heard a couple episodes ago. But we can't go in right now because Team Rocket's being a butthead. So we're going to have to go and stop Team Rocket. There's also kind of like a side gym, the Fighting Dojo. We'll do that in the next episode as well. For now, I want to go and read the all-important Saffron City Shining Gold, uh, Golden Land of Commerce. The big sign right there. And I guess more Team Rocket over here. What do you want? Get lost, you little squirt. I am not a squirtle. I am more of a Bulbasaur kind of guy myself. And I think there's one more Team Rocket dude here. Ow, you jerk. Watch where you're walking. I like to walk with my eyes closed, which is actually very difficult. I don't know if you guys have ever tried this, but walking with your eyes closed and trying to walk straight... It's actually pretty hard. Okay, so we saw Jesse and James standing in front of that building up there. We will go to that, but first I do want to go to this building down here. I think it's this one. <laughs> let's go inside. I'm pretty sure it's this one, because there's something very important I want to get. Here we are, yeah. So let's talk to this old guy. Wait, don't say a word. You wanted this? And here we get TM40 Psychic, a very strong, well, psychic type attack, which is going to be amazing for Wanda. So we're going to go learn that right away. And also someone in the comments was, they didn't directly request this, but they kind of alluded to it. They said it kind of bugs them that uh, my TMs are not sorted. So we're going to sort by number there. There we go. TM's looking great. Psychic is number 40. Let's go and use that. And we'll get that in place of Psybeam. Psychic only has 10 PP, but we do have some PP ups, so I'll go use those as well. And we'll be pretty much set. Yeah, let's go use a couple of PP ups on Psychic right here. There we go. Good. Get that up to 12. And let's get that up to 14. Looking pretty good to me. We still have two PP ups. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and use those last two PP ups on Earthquake over on Douglas. 
Get that up to 12, and then get that up to 14. There we go. All right, so let's go back to the Pokemon Center. I'm going to save talking to some of the people in the Pokemon Center for the next episode as well. I really just want to focus today on stopping Team Rocket, because it's going to take a long time. And uh, I don't know if I want to have another hour-long episode. Maybe. I mean, it might happen anyways. It's, we got a lot to do today, guys. So let's go heal up real quick. All right, I'm all healed up. Let's go and stop these buttheads. How's it going, you cruds? Just let us through already. No way, only authorized members are allowed. I was told to let no one else in. How can you say that when we're on the same side? How rude, you deny a beautiful girl what she wants? Move it already! Whoa, 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 whoa! Um, I guess she's gone, but James is still here. Hey Jesse, wait for me! And I guess he goes in as well and knocks the guy even further aside. And, uh, well, let's go talk to him. Hey buddy, Morg! Looks like he blacked out, that's not good. Did I talk to this guy? My life as a criminal makes me feel so alive! Alright, he's like Frankenstein or whatever, Frankenstein's monster. Let's just go inside, we've got the Silphco right here. A very, very big building. Receptionist, you there? Now this place is gonna take us a gosh dang while, guys. Let's go talk to this lady first though. I have to tell you that our office is a bit of a disaster right now. A real disaster. This is no place for kids, not when there are so many dangerous people around. Like you? Oh, like Blue, you're right. Aw, uh, don't be such a stick in the mud. You won't even let us have a little look around. Oh my gosh, he's got the weird backpack thing. He doesn't have a fancy backpack like us. Oh, you, you're Blue, THE Blue. Ha <laughs> ha! He does this little salute there. Psycho, I've been looking for you. What are you doing in a place like this? Well, Team Rocket. Yeah, they wouldn't let me join in the last episode, so now I'm gonna try to stop them. Those Team Rocket goons are causing trouble all over the place. You and me are on the same wave le wave blah, wave length, Yarg. We can't keep letting Team Rocket do whatever they please. That's right. Come on, it's time we do a little strategy planning. So in short, the plan is this. Psycho is gonna drive Team Rocket out of Silphco using his electric scooter, just like he planned. But it'd be crazy to try something like that alone, so Yarg is going with him. I don't know what kind of vehicle Yarg has. Right. While you pipsqueaks do that, I'm gonna go do a loop around all of Kanto, squashing out Team Rocket wherever I find them. One of us is sure to find out where their boss is hiding, and while I'm mad at it, I'll swing by the Pokemon League to tell the bigwigs there what's going on. Awesome! Do you think the Elite Four might come help us? Maybe? So that's the battle plan, guys. Time to split up and put it into action! Heh! <laughs> if only it were that simple. Fact is, there's one more thing we've gotta do here first. Psycho, Yarg, if you want me to leave this place up to you two newbies, then prove that you're up to the task. What? I don't care who goes first, so show me what you've got. Alright, I guess I'm gonna go first? If I can be blue, then I can go get revenge for Marowak. That's right, I think maybe I can really do this. Psycho, you wanna go first? Okay, Yarg is gonna chicken out. Let's just go get battle first. Yes, I'll be your opponent. Well, here it is. Pokemon Trainer Blue with two Pokemon. And this battle is not going to be a walk in the park. He might only have two Pokemon, but look at these levels, guys. He's got Exeggutor right here. And, well, let me let me sparkle first, get that out of the way. And then we've got a level 38 Exeggutor. But with that said, he is a Grass and Psychic type, which we already know that Aya can absolutely demolish. He does go for Light Screen right, th right there, which will maybe help him out here. But we're still gonna do some huge damage. No, we one-shot him, no problem. But the Exeggutor, I was not that worried about that because we have Aya. I am a little bit worried about the next Pokemon though, which is going to be a Charizard. So we're gonna go ahead and switch Pokemon and I'm gonna go bring out the big guns. Freya coming out right here with their fancy sunglasses and Diglett cap. I will change their outfit from episode to episode, but I wanted to have at least one episode where they still had the Diglett cap because I love it so much. But here comes Charizard, and I'm going to go and start off with Buzzy Buzz. I want to get this guy paralyzed because he is faster than me. Paralyzed will drop his speed, and you can see he does some pretty good damage as well. Also, it's just super effective because he's flying type. Not going to do huge damage because of that light screen, though, I think. So we get the paralyzed right there. And now we're going to go back and spam Bouncy Bubble. Actually, I'm going to do one. We have our sure hit move up, so that I might use that in the next turn. That'll probably defeat him. Oh gosh, will the sure hit move take him down? That's the question. The problem is that I need Bouncy Bubble to heal. I kind of hope he gets stuck in Paralyze here. No, he goes for Heat Wave. So, basically, I don't think Bouncy Bubble's gonna do enough, so he'll survive. So we have to go for the sure hit move just to try to clutch this one out. If this does not work, then someone else will have to pick up the slack, I guess. But let's go for BB Volley. This is our strongest attack. 
And no! Come on, get stuck and paralyzed. No, Freya, he got through, dude. That is super unfortunate. I think the light screen is what saved him there. I was hoping maybe we'd get lucky and we'd get like some love that would save us. Uh, well, Wanda does have an electric attack, so I guess we'll go for that. Finish him off here. Well, he's going to be slow from the paralyzed, so pretty much anyone can finish him off at this point. I feel kind of bad that Freya took the death there, though. But uh, let's go for this Thunderbolt. Come on. There you go, game. I knew you could do it. Get that Thunderbolt. Down goes Charizard. And while Freya did take a KO, we do win this battle. Exactly what I'd expect from a Pallet Town trainer. Wait, did he just give me 11,000 Poké Dollars? Holy crud. Oh, man. So you really are ready for Team Rocket. I feel pretty good about leaving this place in your hands. Then you're next, Yark. Come at me. I'm just getting warmed up. All right, so uh, I've already read that dialogue. Oh, jeez, just watching your battle made me nervous. Did you see his Pokemon's eyes? They blew me away, but I'm not backing down. Saka, you go on ahead. I'll be right behind you. All right, Yark, you go have your little Pokemon battle. I'm going to go and save the world here. And you know what? Wanda's been following us for a while. Let's go uh, Let's go take Freya out of their Pokemon. I'll have them follow us for a while. So I'm going to go back and heal Freya, and then we'll get to exploring the Silph Co., which is, well... Big, you'll see. All right, I'm all healed up and we are back. So first off, let's go ahead and grab this item. We get an X special attack, which is an item I'll probably never use. You can see there's a big floor down here, but mostly this floor is pretty empty. What we want to do is either go up the stairs or take the elevator right here. Now, the thing about Silphco, if we go in the elevator, you will see this place is going to have not one, not two, but 11 different floors. And because I like to be thorough, I'm going to be exploring every single one of them. But to start, I'm going to go to the fifth floor and you'll see why. I will come back down and we'll start exploring from the bottom and slowly work our way up. But I want to start here for now and let's go beat up this butthead. What? There shouldn't be any children here. Why? Dude, that guy's only like one head taller than me. This guy's probably not an adult either. Well, maybe he's an adult. He, he's probably either an adult or pretty close to it. But he has a Hypno right here. We've got Juggler, whatever the crud's name was. So Aya is still up front. We're going to go ahead and use Leech Life. Hypno is a psychic type. So it should be not a big deal to take this guy down. Kind of getting back to more reasonable levels. We fight Blue. He's got level 38 and then level 40. This guy's back down to 34. So more appropriate for our Pokemon levels. Get the one shot right there. Thankfully, he went for Hypnosis and we blocked it with our Shout. So we got a critical as well. Not sure if that actually mattered. But it does have two more Pokemon. Aya getting up to 34 here. Very nice. Oh, wow. Wanda 34 as well. So the double 34s right there. Now, next up is going to be Haunter. So I guess we'll go right over to Wanda. I might need to get a little bit more experience for Freya since they fainted during that last battle. But with that said, Aya and Wanda just hit 34, where Freya was already 34. So I think Freya still has a little bit of a lead on these two. But let's try out our new powerful attack. I forget if I showed it, but it does have 90 power and also has a chance to lower special defense, which is very nice. So let's go put it to use. This should definitely one-shot Haunter. Super effective, same type attack bonus, very strong attack on its own. Very, very awesome. So down goes Haunter. We have one more Pokemon here, and it's going to be another Psychic type. It's Kadabra. So we will go right back over to Aya. Now, I actually saw a Kadabra we could have caught in a recent episode. I kind of forgot we didn't already have Kadabra, the evolved form of Abra. We just have Abra. So I could go back and catch that. I might do that. On the flip side, I could just get Abra into my party and have them level up to uh, eventually evolve as well. So I'll think about that later. For now, don't worry about it. I will get Kadabra at some point. But let's go ahead and do a Leech Life. He does use a shield right there, but honestly, I don't think it's going to matter. And it does not. So down goes Kadabra. Oh, goodness. You're really on 5F. This building goes all the way up to 11F. You've got a long way to go still, kid. Well, the important thing is I want to come right over here. Now, there's this little thing on the floor. I'll talk about what that is in a bit. But let's go over here because we've got gosh dang Archer again. You... What is it, Mr. Archer? You know that kid? Yeah, I beat him up. Oh, suddenly Butthead. Here's Yarg. Huh? Psycho, you know that old guy? Yeah, I beat him up once. So you're fool enough to get in our way. Is that it? What brave little boys. Wait, aren't they the ones who are getting in our way? Not even. Mr. Archer's saying you're in his way. All right. You want to go home in tears or what? Calm yourself. I'll teach these children a good lesson. Okay, we're going to get a mathematics lesson, maybe learn some spelling from uh, Archer here. But, well, we're going to have another duel battle. It's kind of funny, because over the past few episodes, I've been saying that double battles are pretty rare, and they really are, but we just kind of have a lot of them back-to-back -back in these last few episodes. So here we do have a battle with me and Yarg going up against these guys. 
And I'm gonna do something a little bit mean, guys. I'm gonna go for Earthquake. Now, the thing about Earthquake, it hits both the enemies, but also it's going to hit Yarg's Pokemon. I think Cubone can take it. Okay, or Muck will just go for Protect right there. And Electrode's gonna go for Self-Destruct. Fantastic, dude. So Self-Destruct is gonna be blocked by Muck's Protect. Because of that, because he's dead, Earthquake's not going to hit him. Earthquake's not going to hit Muck because Muck is still protected as well. So I'm basically just going to hit Cubone. <laughs> well, there you go. I'm just beating up Yarg for some reason. So let's see how well Cubo can hold this. Oh yeah, he's fine. I am going to go for another uh, Earthquake here. It's probably going to defeat this Cubone, but I would like to hit these guys. One thing I do have to be careful of is his Weezing is going to have Flamethrower, so... Uh, you know what? I'm actually going to go for Dig here, and I think I'm going to go for Dig against that Weezing. Hopefully I'm fast enough I can dodge that Flamethrower, and hopefully, hopefully, he goes for Protect. That's okay, because we're going to go down. We're not attacking him this turn. One thing I'm worried about, though, is if we can kill him before he gets a chance to Flamethrower, so I'm kind of hoping that Yarg will help me kill this Weezing. I'm not scared of the Muck. I'm just scared of the Weezing Flamethrower here. So it goes for Bone Meringue. He does it on Muck. That's actually pretty good. Uh, let's see how many hits he gets here. Just two. I forget if Bone Rank can even hit more than twice. Okay, Muck is using Protect this time, but usually Pokemon will not use Protect twice in a row. Technically you can, but it has a chance to fail if you use it twice in a row. Oh, he does get the Flamethrower. We don't even kill him. Whoa, but he does it on Cubone? <laughs> All right, looks like Douglas is safe. That is great for me. So I guess I'm gonna go for Dig once again. Hopefully he's not like 200 IQ and he goes for Protect on the turn that I'm going to come up here. Oh, but I could go for Earthquake. But if they go for Protect, it's going to miss. And it's going to kill Raichu as well. You know what? Forget your Raichu, Yark. I'm going to kill your Raichu. Oh, we get to go first, but I miss because he used Minimize on his Muck. So I just kill Raichu and Weezing right here. I'm just killing all of Yark's Pokemon. Don't mind me. But most importantly, we got the Weezing down, which means we don't have to worry about Flamethrower anymore. So we should be safe. Okay, very nice. Yark is sending out Pidgeot. Now, Pidgeot is a flying type, so he is immune to ground type. So if I go for Earthquake, it does not even matter because it's going to miss. Sadly, it's also going to miss Golbat, so I'm just going to hit Muck with this one. But yeah, that is one strategy you can do. If you plan to do a double battle yourself, you can have one Pokemon using Earthquake and another Pokemon out that is just flying type, so they totally avoid it. So there we go. We take down the Muck at least. For this Golbat, I might swap over to someone else, or I might just go for Slash or something. Pidgeot's going to go for Air Slash. Let's see how much that does on this guy. Not that much. He's going to do Air Slash himself. And here comes Raticate. Mm, I think I'm going to stay in. Let's just go for a, another Earthquake, I guess, just to try to take down that Raticate. Okay, we do Earthquake. It takes the Raticate down pretty low right here. And it looks like Pidgeot's going for Air Slash. It finishes off Raticate. Very nice. So with that, I will go ahead and swap over to, I think, Wanda for this Golbat here. Oh, Freya, level 35. Nice. All right, Golbat is all that remains. Wanda is up, so we're going to go for Psychic. I don't think we're going to go first, though. Yeah, Pidgeot will go first. I don't think that's going to defeat this guy, even with the Critical Strike. But we do get to go second, so Psychic will definitely finish off this Golbat, even though it's level 37. Down he goes, and down goes this double battle right here. Yeah! Again? What? Oh, <laughs> check it out, guys! Tan Oven is evolving! Congratulations, your Tan Oven evolved into Venomoth! Very nice. Let's go check out that Pokedex entry. So this guy is going to be a Bug and Flying type. Or Bug and Poison, my bad. Poison Moth Pokemon. The powdery scales on its wings are hard to remove from skin. They also contain poison that leaks out on contact. That sounds kind of spooky. Alright, I love this guy. I thought about using him on my team, but we're not going to be. So we're going to go ahead and keep our old moves here. And I guess it's time to swap someone else into the party. So it wasn't just a stroke of luck that let you beat me last time. I understand now. We'll have to be more careful about you two. Out of the way! Gosh dang, he just ran right into me. Ow! Jeez, Yarg. Oh, we got the angry face, dude! Dang. Hey, look, that grunt dropped something. You took the card key from Yarg. I think more accurately, Yarg gave me the card key. I didn't just take it from him. But yes, the reason I wanted to come to the fifth floor first is to do this battle and get the card key, because throughout Silphco, there's going to be these doors that are locked. With the card key, we can open them up, so that'll let us explore a little bit more fully. Now, these little things on the ground, if we step on that, that will actually teleport us to a different random... Well, it's not random. Each teleporter has a specific point it teleports you to. 
So that'll let you teleport around the place. The thing is, these things are very confusing, so to make the video a little easier to follow, I'm gonna go all the way down to the second floor, which is basically the first relevant floor, because the first floor is just the, uh, the lobby. Actually, we'll go down to the first floor to heal. One second. Okay, I'm all healed up. So yeah, to make the video a little bit easier to follow, I'm gonna start on floor two and just slowly work my way up the building one floor at a time and just fully clear things out as we go. And I think it's just gonna help a lot. I think it's gonna make it one, easier to follow and two, just easier for me because once you start using those teleporters, I don't have them all memorized. I don't know where they all go. So it's just a pain, you know, one will take you to floor at seven and then down to floor three and then oh, all over the place, they're a nightmare. So here we have Aya versus this Raticate here. I don't think it's going to be too big of a problem. Honestly, we got um, Mega Drain recently on Aya, and I haven't really used it very much. Basically, Leech Life is still the superior option because it's a physical attack, and Aya is better at physical attacks than they are at special. But if we do happen to have a time where we're fighting something weak to grass, then we'll go for Mega Drain. It's, kind of, it's going to be just like we used Absorb before, where we used it when it's good against a, a Pokemon, but... If they're neutral to everything, we're just going to go for Leech Life. It's just it's just stronger. There are going to be some rare cases where maybe the opponent has a very good physical defense. And in that case, maybe Mega Drain would be better, but probably not. I goofed! Silphco is going to work with Team Rocket, whether they like it or not. Gosh dang, dude. Well, I want to go down this way, and I guess we'll battle this grunt. It's got to battle all the trainers. No kids are allowed in here. Well, why am I here? So, Team Rocket grunt with three Pokemon. It's going to be three coughings. I'll just tell you guys straight up. So, I have Wanda up front. We'll go for Psychic, take down the first coughing, and then we'll go for a couple more. Now, I could have just used Douglas for this and gone for a Earthquake or anything like that, but the thing is, Douglas is going to level so fast, so I'd rather use other Pokemon whenever I can. And Douglas is just so good in general against Team Rocket's Pokemon that, trust me guys, by the end of this video, he's probably going to be like level 40. It's going to be ridiculous. There's so many battles today, and Douglas is going to be in a lot of them. So whenever there's a battle that someone else will be decent for, I'm gonna go ahead and use them here. So let me do two more psychics and take down these coughings. Gaudium, you're tough for a kid. Thanks, I think. Those bright blue tiles are teleport panels. That's how you get around in high-tech buildings like this one. Well, I'm not gonna be using those very much. I do wanna come down here, guys. The most important thing in the entire game, you gotta talk to the water coolers. You gotta get yourself a bottle of fresh water. I don't know how we get a bottle of water from a water cooler and not a cup of water, but there you go. Now, I'm gonna go over here and battle this guy. This has got Mr. Scientist. It's off limits here. Go home! Don't tell me what to do. You're not my mom. Or my dad. Or my grandpa. You're nothing to me, dude. Scientist Jerry. Gosh dang it, Jerry. One Pokemon, though. This is Electabuzz. So, like I said, Douglas, I will use other Pokemon instead of Douglas when they're useful, but if we've got an electric Pokemon coming up, Douglas is going out. Especially a cool one like Electabuzz, level 35 on this guy. But with Earthquake, it's going to be very, very easy. Down he goes. Level 37 already on this guy. Holy crud. Hey, Wanda 35 right there as well. You're good. I know. One thing I actually want to do, now that Wanda just leveled up, I want to go and use this rare candy on them to bring them up to 36. Now, Aya is the lowest level. They're down at 34. Uh, but we'll get them some levels today as well. Don't worry about that. So now we get a chance to learn Light Screen. We have the TMs for this, I'm pretty sure, as well. But I guess we'll go ahead and learn it. Uh, I learned Shadow Ball and Hyper Beam from TMs pretty recently. I'm gonna go ahead and remove them. I thought maybe they'd be useful. They kind of weren't, but it's not a big deal. So we're learning Light Screen right there. We're also learning Reflect. It's kind of sad that we learned these after we could have already gotten them from TMs, but oh well. So there we go. We'll go ahead and learn those on Wanda. So if we want some more defensive stuff on our, our, on our team, we got it. And let's move on. Down here we have an item. This one's going to be X Attack. Another item I'll probably never use. We have Aya just creepily walking into the desk right there. Now we're going to walk over to this side. If we didn't have the uh, key card, we couldn't really do very much left here. We could go grab this item, I guess. We have a super potion. But because we have the key card, we can open both of these doors up, no problem. And up here we can go talk to this lady. Now sometimes it is important to talk to NPCs. Eek! No! Stop! Help! Oh, you're not with Team Rocket. <laughs> I know, my outfit's a little confusing. I'm sorry, I thought... Oh, I'll give you one of our products, please forgive me. So here we get TM42, self-destruct. That is a move that will knock ourselves out. I've heard the phrase knock yourself out, but I guess this lady's taking it to a whole new level. So we could do that if we want to, but I don't really like self-destruct. I'll probably never use it. Uh, yeah, let's go beat this guy up, I guess. Help me, I'm a self-employee. Huh? 
Why are you battling me then? Scientist Connor with one Pokemon. He looks very sly. And here he has a Weezing. So I've got Wanda up front. We're going to go use Psychic. Super strong. Probably going to one-shot this guy. Well, Weezing's pretty tough, so maybe two-shot, but... Psychic is also a very strong move. We'll find out if we can one-shot this guy. Come on! And the answer is yes, we can one-shot very easily. How'd you know I was really from Team Rocket? I mean, you kind of battled me. It didn't really leave me much choice there. If you be totally accurate, I work for both Sylph and Team Rocket. It's hard to make ends meet. Alright, so we're done with that area. Let's go ahead and get back out of here, guys. That is it for Floor 2. We just have to go on to Floor 3 and go through like 9 more floors. No big deal, right? Here we are. Fancy Floor 3. Now the stairs are right there, the teleporter's right there, but we're gonna dodge those. Instead, let's go on down this way. And I guess we'll go grab this item here. We've got ourselves an X Special Defense, getting all kinds of stat boosting items. Well, they're items that boost stats once in battle, so I don't really like them that much, but uh... Yeah, we're getting basically all of them throughout this dungeon. Or, <laughs> I call it a dungeon throughout this area, I guess. If you get in our way, then you'll really be in our way. Um, what? Team Rocket Grunt, one Pokemon. I've still got Wanda up front, because this guy's going to have a Hunter, part poison, so Psychic will destroy this guy. Blah! I give up! You know, I just remembered, I forgot to take Tanovan out of the party, so let's go get someone else in here. I think it might be time to bring back Hurdle, guys. Let's go bring Hurdle into the party. Add to party, let's go get him in place of Tan Oven. Fine, I guess you earned a hint. You can open locked doors with the card key. I've already got the card key, I've already been doing that, so... Uh, that's not exactly a very useful tip. Kind of reminds me of all the trainer signs throughout the games, all the trainer tip signs. They kind of pop up when it's already too late. I forgot we don't need, actually need to go down here. Instead, let's go up and open this door here. But yeah, the trainer tip signs, so often they'll give you information that you were almost certainly have already gotten by that point. I support Team Rocket more than I support Silphco. I don't think that's something to be proud of. I mean, if you asked me yesterday, I would have been proud of that, but no. No more trying to join Team Rocket, guys. That part of my life is over. Team Rocket's evil. We gotta stop them. Here we have Grimer. We got Wanda. Should be pretty easy. I use Psychic, and they die. Hopefully you guys don't mind me editing out a lot of these battles, but, I mean, just me one-shotting stuff probably get kind of old to watch every single time if I didn't make any edits. Now, next up is going to be Magmar. So this guy I'm going to go and use Freya for. Magmar is a fire Pokemon, so we could use Earthquake. We'd probably be faster, so we could probably take him down. But if we didn't, then we'd get hit by a fire attack on Douglas. So let's go use Freya instead, and we'll go do some Bubbly Bubble. Or Bouncy Bubble. I, I don't know, I think Bubbly Bubble's a lot more fun to say. I don't think we're going to one-shot with Freya, though, no. So we'll have to do another one. Let's see what he goes for here. Flamethrower, yep, that's what I was afraid of on Douglas. As long as we don't get burned, we should be fine here. And we get burned! Fantastic! I can't remember, is Bouncy Bubble a special attack? Yeah, Bouncy Bubble is special, so the attack drop from that burn is not going to affect Bouncy Bubble, so we'll still do full damage, and we'll still destroy this guy. No problem. You really got me! Hmm. Team Rocket said that if I helped them, they'd let me study Pokémon to my heart's content. I guess that sounds like a pretty good deal. What? What's going on? First that kid who was annoyingly strong, and now you? Wait, are you trying to imply that I'm not annoying, annoyingly strong? I'm the most annoying, dude. I'm so strong. Well, here we get a max lure. And I'm gonna go, I guess, open this door. Even though it, I think it just leads to a teleporter, which I don't really want to go through. So bingo! Open that crud. Now, can we at least, like, peep on these guys' laptops? Nothing? We can't do anything here, dude? Alright, let's not worry about it. So that is it for floor three. Let's go up to floor four now. Wait, did I talk to this guy? I gotta talk to everyone. It's in my genes. I work for Silphco. What am I to do? Okay, that's it for that. Up the stairs we go. Let's go to floor number four. Do floor and four... Yeah, th those rhyme, dude! All right, let's go down, and I'm going to battle Mr. Grunt here. Intruder spotted. Mr. Robot. Wait, that's a TV show. Holy crud. All right, this guy's got two Pokemon, starting off with coughing. So once again, we're going to have Wanda up front, and Wanda's just going to use Psychic. Blech. Yeah, all right. This guy also has Electrode, so we're going to go with Dugtrio here, and hope he does not self-destruct on me. Okay, he goes for Screech. That would lower my defense. The thing is, I'm pretty sure I'm about to one-shot this guy, so the fact that he lowered my defense does not exactly matter. So, Earthquake. Down goes Electrode. Very nice. Who are you? Who am I? This is not good. I better tell the boss. No, don't tell the boss, dude. Just keep it a secret. Shh. Can't you see I'm hiding? Well, if I can see you, you're not exactly hiding very well, are you? I do want to grab this item, though. We get a dire hit. Yet another item that we can use in battle to boost our stats for one turn. Don't exactly care to do that. I don't know why I'm walking back and forth around these chairs, but let's just move on with our lives. Let's go beat up this scientist down here, I guess. I don't know if his name's Winston, but we're going to find out. So first off, gotta get the water, guys. You gotta talk to the water coolers. Don't worry about Aya. She's just kind of stuck over there. Let's go ahead and open this guy. 
And let's go talk to scientists, dude. My Pokemon are my loyal servants. My Pokemon are my friends. Scientist Rodney with three Pokemon. It's gonna start off with a Voltorb. Probably should have used Douglas for this one. Yeah, well. I think what I'll do is I'll defeat this first Voltorb with Wanda. Oh, light screen. Gosh dang it. But yeah, we'll go for a uh, Psychic here. We'll try to take this guy down, and then we'll bring in Douglas for his next two. He also has another Voltorb and some other crud. Ah, gee, you know, I'm, ah, jeez, I'm just gonna swap. Boom! Oh, this Electro did use Sonic Boom on me. Sonic Boom always does 20 damage, so... I guess that's a little unfortunate, but we're fine. Got him. Oh man, what useless servants. The doors in this building are all electronically locked. Without a card key, they won't open. Thankfully, I've got the card key, so we're just fine. Uh, hey mister. Team Rocket is taking control of Silphco. Oh no. Oh, I'm so terrified. The only worry I actually do have is running out of Psychic PP, even though I use those two PP up, so we have 14 of it instead of just 10. We might still run out here. He also has a Grimer, no problem. We can get this guy with one move. We're basically One Punch Man, if One Punch Man was a Pokemon that used Psychic abilities. Arg! Fwah! Our boss has been after this place for ages. Well, we're about to ruin his whole plan, dude. Well, first off, I want to go in this room, because there's all kinds of items. I don't know, it's just, you know, Team Rocket's here, we're just kind of opportunistic thefts, or thieves, I guess. We see that there's some chaos going on, so we just run in and go to the warehouse and just start taking stuff. Why not? So we've got three items right there, there's a couple more in the back as well. I guess we can't dig into these boxes or these little crates or anything like that. But we do get five great balls, so that's pretty cool. And we also get some gosh dang revive action, so that's cool. But we're basically done with Floor 4. Let's go up to floor 5. And here's floor 5 where we've already been, so we've already beat up that juggler right there. But we do need to go talk to some people. It seems Team Rocket is planning to make Sylph create a strong Pokemon. Arg! but I don't want them to take this Porygon I created. I've got to get it out of here somehow. Hmm. Well, just put it in a Pokeball, dude. Jag Jag! I don't know why Porygon says that, but... Yeah, Porygon is actually an artificially made Pokemon, made by Sylph Co. Team Rocket is in an uproar over some intruder. That's you, right? And I guess someone did say intruder alert, so that's gotta be me. Don't look at me! I lost to a kid with a nasty look in his eyes. My Pokemon just don't have any energy left. That's tragic, but we are gonna open this. We have to open an entire door for one item. This better be good. And it's a guard spec, which is not very good at all in my opinion. So, oh well. Yet another stat boosting item for battle. But that is basically it for this area, so let's go walk back out. And let's go past the juggler. And this is basically where we left off. There are some items up in these, uh bushes here. We get some silver nana berries. Gonna dodge that teleporter. And let's go over here. The scientist has been here for a while without us battling him. We study Pokeball technology on this floor. Very nice. Scientist blah! Alright, one Pokemon here, so Wanda going back out. Wanda has been like the star for most of this episode so far. It's kind of weird, because earlier I was saying Douglas is gonna be the star, but I mean, Douglas will be a part of a lot of these battles, but I mean... Wanda's pretty good, too. We just gotta hope we don't get hit by... Yes, okay. No poison attack there. We do get hit by Thunder Punch. That does hurt pretty bad. Oh, gosh. I'm gonna try to kill him with Thunderbolt. A little bit risky, but my PP on Psychic's getting kind of low. Oh, we got him. Okay. Oh, man. Blast it! He really is from Team Rocket, saying blast. We worked on the ultimate Pokeball. One to catch even legendary Pokemon without fail. That sounds pretty nice. Where could I get such a ball? Well, here we have a Max Ether. That's pretty nifty. Make sure there's nothing in these plants. Looks like we're good. So let's move on. Let's go beat up another grunt. Lots and lots of battles in this area. Which I like. I like battles. Alright, we've got an Ekans. That should be no problem. Gonna go ahead and use one of my last three Psychic PP to try to defeat this guy. Here we go. We got him. Now he also has a Hypno. So for that, finally we get to bring out someone else. We're gonna go use Aya here. Now Wanda and Douglas just happen to be very good against Team Rocket's Pokemon. And we've been fighting a lot of Team Rocket recently, so that's why they've been showing up a lot. But hey, they're also two of uh, my favorite Pokemon on the team. Well, you know what? I just love everyone. I'm not going to pick favorites. I think everyone's my favorite. Even though I haven't gone into my box and marked them as favorites yet. But oh well. Let's just go use Leech Life. It doesn't really matter what damage he does to me because I'm just going to heal it back up anyways. Shucks. It's not smart to pick a fight with Team Rocket. Um, says you. I'm pretty good at picking fights with Team Rockets and winning. So not a big deal. Over here we do have TM-54 Flash Cannon. Now this is almost exciting. I say almost because if we go to our TM case, we go down. Flash Cannon is a steel attack and Dugtrio Douglas can actually learn it. The problem right here, it is a special attack. You can see the blue swirlies, that means special. And unfortunately, Douglas is not a good special attacker. But I'll still learn it just because. I'll get it in place of Sucker Punch. But you can see on the right, 102 attack, only 58 special attack. 
Oh well, we'll go ahead and get rid of Sucker Punch, because I'll probably never use that. So, I guess it's better than nothing, but don't expect me to use Flash Cannon very often. So let's go get this item. It is five Pokeballs. Very nice. And let's get out of here. Without the teleporter. I'm not taking the teleporter, guys. I told you. We're just going to walk around here. Make sure there's no stuffs in the plants. I think there might be one of these. Come on. Anything? Nothing? All right. Well, let's go grab this nugget right here then. And I guess we'll battle her. She was kind of blocking the item there, so we had to walk all the way around. Show Team Rocket a little respect. Very little. Like the tiniest amount of respect, because they are not deserving of lots of respect. Well, she does have two Pokemon. The first is Zubat, so once again, Wanda's up front. I'm just going to go for Thunderbolt. I know Psychic would do more damage, and someone in the comments uh, actually calculated that Psybeam would do more damage if it's super effective than Thunderbolt would, but... At the same time, I just got rid of Psybeam, so it doesn't really matter, but it was a good calculation. If I kept Psybeam, I would have gone for that. Okay, we do have Arbuck coming out. Uh, I'm going to try. I'm going to try using a Psychic. I just don't know if I can one-shot. I don't know why I said Arbuck instead of Arbok, but if I don't one-shot him... No! Crud, I went for Thunderbolt like an idiot, dude! Well, Wanda's probably dead here. That is a bummer. No, they go for Glare, so that is just going to paralyze me, which gives me a chance to swap out. And save myself, I guess. What? He went for Haze? So he did not even go for a poison thing. Probably just could have killed him right there. Oh, well, let's go for Earthquake. <coughs> it's only because I'm coming down with the cold. Yeah, yeah, blame it on the sickness, dude. I see how you work. Cough, which reminds me, coughing evolves into wheezing. Hooray! So we're done with this floor. Let's go to the next one. So this was floor five. We're going up to floor six. Remember, guys, this place has 11 floors. It is a gigantic place. Let's see, we got this big conference room looking place. And we also get a X special attack. Very nice. Let's go talk to this guy. Team Rocket came and took over the building. How could they? Team Rocket is trying to conquer the world with Pokemon. Well, good luck to them. That's a pretty big goal. They must have targeted Silphco for our Pokemon products. Yeah, you guys got some pretty cool stuff. I guess, I don't know if this is where they make Pokeballs. I think Generation 6 had an actual Pokeball factory. So maybe that was where they made Pokeballs? I don't know, man. But I'm gonna go around here and beat up this guy. You dare betray Team Rocket? I know, dude. I was trying to join the team and I've betrayed them. I'm against Team Rocket now, but crud happens, man. We've got Team Rocket Grunt, two Pokemon. So he's got a Raticate right here and I'm actually gonna use Freya. I don't think this is gonna be too particularly difficult. My Freya tactics are pretty much go for Sizzly Slide because that will burn them, which will lower their attack so they can't really do very much damage to me. And then just start spamming Bouncy Bubble to heal up. Oh my gosh, we almost killed him with that because we got a critical hit. All right. Ah, whoa, whoa. The burn might just kill him right here. Uh, no, almost. That's okay. We'll do Bouncy Bubble and heal like one HP. Although he's probably going to get a quick attack here. No, we actually get to go first, so we probably did something else. And we'll heal one HP, I think. All right, next up is Golbat, which I would normally have one to deal with, but they're still par still paralyzed. So I'm going to go for... I guess we're just going to go for Buzzy Buzz, because this guy's flying, and hopefully that will one-shot. I don't know if it will coming from Freya. No, not quite. If we get lucky, he'll get stuck and paralyzed, though, and we can just do a uh, bouncy bubble the next time. He does go for crunch, so it's probably not going to do too much, but he does get through. That will also lower one of our stats, our defense, but he should not live through this. I think bouncy bubble, even though it's not super effective, it's going to take this gold bat down. And got him. Okay. You traitor. I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. But I'm not ashamed. Team Rocket should be ashamed. You should come to the light side of the force with me. You'll never be on our side if you stand for justice. You betray us bad guys. Okay, well, real quick, I, I do want to go and put Doug Trio back up front. There we go. And I want to walk over and beat up this scientist. Hey, buddy. Oh, I think there's also an item in that bush right there. But we'll get to that. That rotten president serves him right for transferring a star employee like me off to the boondocks. That's why Team Rocket came after us. I'm sure of it. I think this guy's got a little bit of an ego. Scientist Taylor. He's got three Pokemon. First up is Bagnemite, which will die to one earthquake. No problem. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, guys, this dude also has a Magmar. I'm going to see if this works. I'm going to see if we can go first and just one-shot him. Not have to worry about getting hit by Flamethrower. So we do go first. Douglas is pretty fast. And we do one-shot. Okay, so don't have to worry about those fire attacks. We good. And they also have a Magnemite. More like Deadnemite. Shoot. What? Psyduck is evolving. Oh, crud. So yeah, Psyduck got level 33. And for that, they evolve into Golduck. Yeah, and here it is, Golduck. This is Clubby's favorite Pokemon of all time, the duck Pokemon water type. It's long, slim limbs and in broad flippers. They are used for swimming gracefully in lakes. Arg! I'll be sent back to the middle of nowhere if I keep battling like this. Let's go uh, get this item. Where is it? There's an item, like, right here. No, don't talk to Aya. Well, I mean, I guess it's good to talk to Aya as well. We haven't done that in quite some time. 
Uh, oh, there's an item in the ball. Oh my gosh, it's right next to him. Why did I think that was a hidden item? Okay, let's just go open this. I'm embarrassed, but whatever. We'll just go grab some items here. We've got a max repel and one more item. I guess a locker room. Why is there boxes and cargo crates in a locker room? And why is there a telephone in here? I mean, I guess the telephone makes a little bit more sense. We'll get the hyper potion there as well. Okay, let's go and uh, talk to these two. That man next to me, he's such a coward. Oh dear, oh dear, help me please. I mean, I guess he's a little bit of a coward. I'm like some 10 year old kid stopping this evil crime organization. This guy's just standing here, what the crud man. But I guess she's not doing anything either, so she can't really be one to talk. Let's go beat up this kid though, or this girl. I am one of the four rocket sisters. I'm so sorry. Well, we have one of the four Rocket Sisters, and she's sending out a Meowth. We've got Freya up front once again. I don't think Meowth's gonna be too big of a problem. I'll probably go for... Let's just go for Bouncy Bubble. I need to heal up a little bit here. Will it one-shot? No! It took two, but we got him. Well, next up is Raticate. A little bit tougher than a Meowth, but I'm just gonna go for the good old hit him with the burn, hit him with the bubbles tactic. What? That's it for floor six. Let's go up to floor seven. We're getting there, guys. I've been recording for an hour already. So this might be the longest episode yet, which is saying a lot, because this series has had some long episodes. But here we are. We are in floor seven here. Let's go ahead and open that door. And let's go talk to this guy. It'll be bad if Team Rocket gets complete control of Sylph and our Pokemon. Hey, buddy. Oh, you want to fight? You want to tussle, dude? I'm one of the four Rocket Sisters. Oh, no. Well, she's got three Pokemon. The first is a Voltorb, so of course I've got Douglas up front here. And we're just going to Earthquake. Bam. Second Voltorb. Slam. Third Voltorb. Ham. Sorry, sis. I lost. Doesn't matter. My sisters will repay the favor. And if that thought scares you, go home already. I would never go home. I'm not scared of anything. Except for TM34 Dragon Pulse. That's pretty scary. Well, none of our Pokemon can learn it, so don't worry about it. Oh, you know what? We got that door open, of course, but let's go ahead and get Psyduck out of the party and bring someone else in to uh, level up here. Who do we bring in? Hmm. How about Patty? Let's go get Patty added to the party here in place of Psyduck. And let's go explore some more. We just have one item down here. We also have the teleport pad. Ooh, smart candies. That'll raise a blech. Well, that'll blech. Blech. That'll raise our special attack, which I will use on Wanda here. We got three of them. So here we go. There's one. And there's two. And there's three. Let's get back out of here. Let's keep exploring. I guess we'll explore this guy's dead. I don't, that didn't make any sense. Two Pokemon. First one is going to be a Zubat. I still have Douglas up front, so we'll have to see how we do with a Slash here. I guess I could go for Flash Cannon as well, but meh, Slash works. All right, this guy also has a Golbat, so we'll do Slash again. Oh my gosh, I'm confused. I'm hurting myself with confusion. He's got a Leech Life. Why did I not swap to Wanda? That is the question. Oh, because Wanda's paralyzed. Right. Save us, Freya. Thank you, Freya. You did it. Lights out. You won't find anything by just scurrying around. All right, man, if you say so. You won't find anything by just scurrying around. All right, man, if you say so. But I can talk to these people. You, it's really dangerous here. You came to save me? You can't. Why can't I save you? What? Yarg's on the left. The president is still in the boardroom on the 11th floor. I'm so worried. I hope he's safe. Yeah, we'll, we'll worry about that when we get to it. For now, we're going to go and explore this, uh... Gosh, what floor are we even on? Eight? Seven? Oh, hi, you're not a rocket. You came to save us. Why, thank you. I want you to have this Pokemon for saving us. And here we get Lapras. Oh, uh -huh, yeah, dude. Well, we'll take a look at the Pokedex entry in just a second. It's a Lapras. It's a very intelligent Pokemon. We kept it in our lab, but it will be much better off with you. I think you will be a good trainer for Lapras. It loves to swim, so take good care of it, okay? Okay, buddy. So here we get the, uh, the entry for it. Lapras, a very beautiful Pokemon. The transport Pokemon, water and ice type. A gentle soul that can understand human speech. It can ferry people across the sea on its back. Aw, uh, yeah. Well, that was awesome. But let's go get this item. A rare candy. I do want to use that on Aya, but I'm going to use that right after they get their next level up. Team Rocket must be after the Master Ball. A Pokeball that's guaranteed to catch up any Pokemon. I bet they're going to make us make lots of Master Balls for them to use. Those butt heads. What a cunning plan. Wow. <laughs> no. I think we're just gonna stop there. We're gonna let that happen, dude. Hey, mister. Hehe. <laughs> you mistook me for a silk worker. Nope, they're all wearing blue. You're the one wearing a 
white lab coat here. All right, this guy's got two Pokemon, and we've got Douglas up front. This guy's got a coughing. Could have used Wanda for this, but the problem is Wanda is still paralyzed. I could just use a paralyzed heal, but I'm lazy, so we're gonna use Douglas here. The other problem is that I'm um, kind of low on Earthquake, so I'm gonna go for Dig. Bam! And he's also going to have Magneton, the evolved form of Magnemite, but that'll also go down to one Dig, no problem. Blam! I'm done for. Yeah, let's go check out what this item is. It is a PP up, a fantastic item. Well, we can see Yarg back there, but we can't really get to him right now. The only way to get to where Yarg is, is using those teleports. So we will have to use teleports. There's also some Nana Berries right here. Uh, but yeah, we will have to use the teleports to beat this area. But not very many. We don't really have to do much with those. Just double checking, I actually beat her up. I did. Okay. Well, on to floor number eight. We are getting there, guys. Just a few more to go. So this one's actually a pretty short floor as well. So let's go get this battle done. I'm one of the four Rocket Sisters. Well, this is three out of four already. Grimer, dead. Oh, there is Douglas level 40. I told you guys Douglas is gonna get level 40 today. Tons of experience in this area, just so many battles. Next up is coughing as well. Dead. Sis, no, don't give me a timeout. Wow. <laughs> My sisters will take care of you. You don't stand a chance. Oh, that's nice of them. They're gonna take care of me. Aw. Well, let's go explore this floor first. Oh, I see you hiding over there, you crud. Let's go beat him up. You guys know the drill. This is as far as you'll go. Uh-uh. You got a Ghastly. Got him. Looks like Ghastly's not getting past me. And we've got a Persian here, so we'll do some Leech Life. But can Leech Life one-shot a Persian? Not quite. We'll do one more here. Looks like second time's the charm. Not enough grit. If you don't turn back, I'll call for backup. That's a threat. Are you threatening me, dude? No, we're fine. If he calls back up, we'll just beat them up too. So we'll go ahead and open this door, and we're gonna go beat up this scientist. And he's got Electrode. We already know how to deal with Electrode. We just hit him with Earthquake, just like that. Now his next Pokemon is actually Porygon. I'm gonna go ahead and use Aya for this one. The thing about this Porygon is he only does Hyper Beam. I hope we get to see the animation because it's really cool, but Hyper Beam is a very strong attack, but Porygon is not the strongest Pokemon, so I don't think it's gonna do that much, even though it's a really good move but let's just go for Leech Life. We might just one-shot him. It might not even get a chance to do it. And nope, not even close to a one-shot. Now the thing about Hyper Beam, after you use it, you have to take a turn. Oh my gosh, I just avoided it. So we don't get to see the animation yet. I really hope we do get to see it. But yeah, you have to take a turn to recover. So you use it one turn, the next turn you're stuck, and then after that, you can use it again. So there we go, Hyper Beam. Such a cool animation right there. Gosh dang. Oh my gosh, that did a lot more than I thought it would, but we can definitely heal up a little bit. And like I said, he's going to be stuck recovering, so he's not going to get a chance to finish this off here. Uh, we don't quite finish him. You know what? This looks like a time for Mega Drain. Here we go. Huh? I lost? So, what do you think of the maze that is the Sylph building, huh? I haven't really been treating it like a maze. I'm just going up the stairs like normal. And I'm also getting a revive. Well, I want to get this right here, though. Some silver raspberries. Yeah. So with that, with those silver raspberries, we are done. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Forgot this item. Can't forget this item. We got an X attack. I think I need to talk to this guy as well. So let's go do that. Uh, Sylph has been taken over. I guess this is the end for us. Oh, no. But yeah, now we can go to the next floor. And floor nine is a very great floor, as you'll see. All right, we're on floor nine. I want to make a beeline for down left here, because right over here, you can see there's these beds. And yes, we can actually heal up here. I'm one of the four Rocket Sisters, and I'm the oldest. Yeah, this is the final Rocket Sister. Not that the Rocket Sisters are really anything special. It would have been cool if they gave them, like, unique models or some unique Pokemon or something like that, but... They mostly just have more of the same. Come on, Freya, go beat up that portion. I'm just gonna do same old, hit him with the fire, then hit him with the bubbles. And there we go. I'm the oldest, yet you beat me. All right, you embarrassed me. My sisters will avenge me. Nope, I've already beat all them up as well. I, I, <laughs> don't worry about why that door was already open. Long story. Anyways, let's go talk to Nurse Joy back here. Shh, I'm a beautiful spy who was disguised as a nurse. Oh, are you tired? You should have a rest here in the nap room. Gotta take a nap, guys. There we go. So we just uh, talk to her, we can get all healed up, and we're good to move on. I do want to go get, uh, get this item as well, but with that, we get a revive, and now we can go beat up the grunt at the top left. So let's go up there and do just that. It's got to get through this door. Man, I wish you could just, like, grab the key card, and it would just open all the doors automatically, but nope, you gotta open them one by one. So let's go beat up this kid. Or, no, he called me a kid. We'll beat up this 
whatever he is. Two Pokemon, though. Team Rocket Grunt. All right, so he's got Coughing here. We already know, dude. We could just hit him with that Psychic. Now the Wand is all healed up. The Paralyze is gone. That's kind of why I was avoiding uh, healing the Paralyze, because I knew this room was going to be here. So I didn't want to run out and go to the Pokemon Center or waste my items when I could just come to Nurse Joy here. All right, so we've got Haunter as well. Let's go use Psychic here. And we got him. <sighs> if only I had started as a trainer at your age. Well, we are done with trainers for this floor. There's a couple items to get. I forgot to grab the secret item right here, the elixir. And there's a few more items to get as well before we move on to floor number 10. Now, remember there's 11 floors, so we are almost, almost done. And honestly, floor 10 and 11 will go by very quick. So we're really getting there. So let's go right on down, open up a couple things here. And you know what? Let's go beat up this guy while we're at it. Your Pokemon have weak points. I can nail them. That's kind of gross, dude. All right, Scientist to Ed with three Pokemon. Gonna start off with a Weezing. We've got Douglas up front. I'll just use Earthquake. Got him. Ooh, I had just got 37. So once this battle is over, I'm gonna go use that rare candy on them to get them up to 38. Pretty sure Freya and Wanda already got 38. So Aya's kind of lagging behind a little bit, but I don't blame them. I'm, I've used most of my rare candies on Aya so far, or on uh, Wanda, I mean. And Freya, well, they've been with us for so long, so it kind of makes sense that they're a higher level. 40 gosh dang one on Douglas. Oh my gosh. And Electrode. Wham! You hammered me! Dude, just, just, just stop. Just, just stop. Exploiting weak spots does work. Think about type matchups. Uh, I'm not very good at type matchups, dude, don't you know? Well, here we got three Ultra Balls. Nice. Over here we've got... Three Great Balls. Okay. What would this be? Would it be three Master Balls? No, just three Pokeballs. That's okay, too. Okay, so we're done with floor number nine. Let's go to floor number ten. Man, just imagine walking up all these stairs. I've got to have burned like 500 calories, dude. Let's go beat up this guy. Enough of your silly games. Enough of your silly crud, dude. I just want to get out of here, man. I've been here forever. Scientist Travis, two Pokemon. Grimer's dead. And Muck is dead. No continues left. This is not a video game, dude. This is real life. And I just remembered I forgot to go and use that rare candy on Aya. I don't know why I'm so good at forgetting crud like that. And also Freya just got 38, so they are 38 now. Let's go use this on Aya. And now all of our Pokemon are 38 except for Dugtrio, which is 41. Are you satisfied with beating me? Then go on home! Alright, no I'm not satisfied. I want to stop all of Team Rocket. Good try, man. But down here we just have more teleporters. So I guess we'll go this way instead. And we'll go grab this item, which is a full heal. Now, this lady right here, she's just chilling. She's just sitting in the chair, doesn't even care. Way I'm scared. Okay, maybe she cares a little bit. Well, this grunt's gonna care after I beat him up. Welcome to 10F. So good of you to join me. So many Voltorb. Radicate, he's dead too. I'm stunned. Hit him with my hammer of justice. Nice try, but the boardroom is up one more floor. Yep, we're almost done here, but let me go ahead and uh, swap Aya up front for a little bit later. And let's go grab some items. We've got three items here. First off, we get a max revive. Still feel kind of weird just like stealing Silphco's crud. Here we get a rare candy. You know what? I'm going to use that one on Aya as well. Just get them get them back ahead of Freya and ahead of Wanda. And we get TM37 Flamethrower. A very good fire attack. Unfortunately, none of my Pokemon can use it. But if you have someone that can use it, probably should because it's a great move. But let's go down. Get that rare candy. Use that crud on Aya. Order is restored. Aya is back in, a front, uh, in front of Wanda there. All right, we are done with the 10th floor, guys. Let's go to the fabled floor 11. And here we are. We just have one trainer up here for now. Halt, state your purpose for being here. Um, don't tell me what to do. Well, he's got three Pokemon and finally something a little bit different. I mean, we've seen trainers with Hypno and stuff, but I think this might be the first Drowsy we've seen in the area. So, I mean, that counts for something, right? But I'm just gonna kill him with Leech Life. Super easy. Zubat's dead too. Forget Zubat being dead, we killed Golbat too. God. Demolished. How exactly do you plan on beating us? See, the important thing, if you've got a mastermind plan, you probably shouldn't tell your opponents what it is. That kind of defeats a lot of the purpose, dude. Well, here we get a max elixir. As you can see, we've got some crud going on in that room, but we can't actually get there. Here's the thing, guys. This is the point where we have to use those teleporters. We have to get into that teleporter. So, I'm going to show you guys a very, very easy path to get to exactly where we need to go without getting confused with too many teleporters. So we're going to go down to floor number nine and go back to the beds. First up, I, I just want to heal. Okay, so now that we're healed up, I'm going to go back here and take this teleporter. So we're on the ninth floor right now, but after we take this, this will take us right down to the third floor. Now, once we're in the third floor, I want to take this teleporter right here next to the guy on his laptop, probably looking up uh, some cheat codes or something because he's too bad at Pokemon. So we'll go right up like that, and suddenly, butthead! There's Yarg. All right, we made it in here. Hey, dude. Oh, 
Oh, gosh dang it, Archer. That's far enough. Well, he's just gonna run up here, I guess. Well, you again? Me again. As many times as it takes. I will not let you reach the boss. Huh? What was that? Reach the boss? Psycho, do you think? He's right up ahead. So the boss of Team Rocket is right here in this building. That makes things easier then. Yeah, forget Blue who went on this like world tour to go find Giovanni to stop him. Too bad, I'm gonna be the one to stop him, dude. Go Psycho, this is our best chance to beat their boss. Old man, you'll be dealing with me. Yeah, he's probably gonna have an easy time. No offense, Yarg. Ugh, I don't have time for this. I must warn the boss. Yeah, this is like the only room in this entire building without a telephone. So we can't easily warn the boss. Oh well, let's just go take this teleporter here. And now, we are on the 11th floor, but we're through that teleporter, so... Yeah, almost none of the teleporters are required. You basically just have to take that one on the third floor, and then take a couple and you're good to go. But suddenly these guys are bosses in a meeting, you better not disturb them. Marauer! And guys, I am a little bit of a liar, I was a little bit wrong. I think it was the last episode, or maybe a couple episodes ago, I said that this would probably be the last battle, or the last episode with two double battles. Well, this episode also has two double battles. We had the one where we were teaming up with Yarg, and now we have this one right here, where we have to go two versus two against these guys. They've got Weezing, they've got Arbok, I've got Douglas, and I've got Freya. So I'm gonna go for Earthquake and just hope... Uh, actually, you know what? I changed my mind. <laughs> I changed my mind. I'm gonna go use Dig on this guy, and I'm gonna go ahead and use Sizzly Slide on Weezing. I could use Earthquake. Maybe it might kill Freya, though. I don't really want to do that. So we'll go for Dig instead. And Sizzly Slide on this guy just to lower his attack. Not going to do a ton of damage, but to stop him from doing much to me. Wow, we dodged his glare right there. There goes the Sludge Bomb. Not going to do that much, but we do get hit by a Poison as well, so that kind of sucks. So hopefully this Dig will one-shot that Arbok. I could have just gone for Earthquake and just gone back and healed if I really felt like it, but I'm not that worried about it. I kind of want to go for Double Edge. You know, I'm going to heal after this battle anyways, so let's go for Double Edge right here. Okay, here comes the Dig. Does it one-shot? It does. So down goes Arbok. No problem right there. And let's see how much this is going to do from Freya here. And if they don't die, I'll probably just go for a Slash on this Weezing. No, we got him. Oh my gosh, critical hit, dude. Look at this recoil damage. It's probably going to be a ton, but we'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, we're down to 50. That's okay. Gosh dang, 42 on Douglas. Oh my gosh. As always. Arg, I hate kids. Just like always. Jesse and James, looks like Team Rocket's blasting off again. Well, away they go, and we need to go stop Giovanni. But first, let's see what Freya has to say. They're probably just exasperated. They are. Okay, so let me go back and heal. Then we'll come back and uh, talk to Giovanni. All right, we're back. Let's go use our key card one more time. Or card key. This whole time I've been saying key card. Card key. And let's go talk to Giovanni. Now, now, Mr. President, I hope you're not thinking of lying to me. The Master Ball. You successfully created one, didn't you? Do you think it's that easy to make? And now that I know who you really are, there is no way I want to make a thing like that. Not for someone like you. How dare you? And give up any thought of forcing us to create lots of powerful Pokemon for you. Using stolen research to create Pokemon, that's not something Sylph should ever do. We had a deal. You agreed to this. Oh, he getting mad. You're a smart man. I'm sure you can imagine what will happen to your people if you say no to me now. <sighs> hmm? I'm here to save the day. I'm a ten-year-old. Ah, young psycho. So we meet again. The president of Sylph and I are discussing a vital business proposition. Keep your nose out of grown-up matters. Or experience a world of pain. Oh, I guess we're going to experience a world of pain here. Or maybe you're going to experience a world of pain. Gosh dang, Team Rocket boss Giovanni. Three Pokemon right here, starting off with a Persian. Now, I've got Aya up front. I think Aya can deal with Persian pretty well. It's probably two Leech Lives, maybe three. Got a Sparkle. Always got a Sparkle on the way in. Okay, so let's go and use Leech Life. Now, I could use Spore. In hindsight, probably should use Spore. And you know what? They go for Fake Out, which flinches me. So I'm going to go ahead and gosh dang use Spore. So Spore will always put them to sleep 100% accuracy. Oh, they get a critical hit on that Slash as well. So good thing I'm putting them to sleep. The thing is, I did say when we got Spore that it's one of the strongest moves in all of Pokemon. I do stand by that, but with that said, over the generations, sleep has been continuous, continuously nerfed. It's gotten worse and worse over the years. Um, so it's not as good as it used to be, just because sleep is not as good as it used to be. But I think it's still pretty good. Uh, it's a little bit better if you're actually faster than your opponent, but oh well. So he's still asleep right here. Still fast asleep, looking good. Okay, so definitely worth doing that Spore. Let's go ahead and Leech Life right here. 
Did we get the one? Okay, yes. I was gonna say one shot. That was actually a two shot, but just barely. I thought we might have to do one more, but we got him. So Spore worked out very well right there. Now Wanda's level 39 as well, very nice. And next out is gonna be a Rhyhorn. So this is a case where Mega Drain is gonna be very handy. I think we'll just one shot this guy, no problem. Let's go do Mega Drain. I mean, we've one shot Rhyhorn with Absorb before. I think Mega Drain's gonna be just fine. And the crazy thing, remember at the start of the episode, guys, when we fought Blue, who had level 38, level 40, and that was like really high level compared to my team? Now this guy's got 39, and it's just kinda like, it's just right, our team just happens to be this level now. So he's got Nitto Queen coming out, and let's go send out Wanda. See, I've been recording for over an hour and a half. I think a lot of that's gonna get cut out just because of all the battles, but yeah, this place had so many battles that my team's gained like six levels or something. It's been pretty crazy. Let's go ahead and do, let's do Psychic on this guy. I mean, what the crit else would I do? He's part ground type, so Thunderbolt would do nothing. My other moves are just defensive. I'm not gonna one shot. Let's see what he goes for here. Okay, Body Slam. That has a chance to paralyze. Let's hopefully not get paralyzed. Looking good, and because we're faster, I think we're good. Yep, so that is definitely going to kill, unless he somehow survives with one HP, which probably would never happen there. And there we go, we defeated Giovanni. Arg, I lost again. Dude, so many people saying Arg. It's like a symphony of Arg up in here. All right, blast, I have little choice. It seems I'll relinquish still for now. I kind of read that weird, but don't even worry about it. But Team Rocket will never fall. Psycho, never forget. All Pokemon exist for Team Rocket's use. I may leave you now, but we will meet again. All right, that's a little bit ominous, dude. Well, I guess, guys, with Team Rocket stopped once and for all, we're gonna go ahead and wrap things up here for today. I've been recording for super long. Hopefully it's not another hour plus long episode, but I guess we'll see. We'll come back next time, guys. We'll explore the rest of Saffron City, and we'll even do the gym. I'll see you guys then. Take care!